Jim, here's your video of your oil leaks, okay? Um, Alright, it's pretty wet under here. Uh, it's common for a car of this age to be a little wet, okay? This hose here is leaking. I would tighten it, but a lot of times if I tighten them, they leak more. So, I've learned to leave them alone, unless it's just abnormally loose. Um, your S hose here, you can see here, is dripping down from this hose, I do believe, and leaking onto that one. So, I don't think that one's leaking. This one is obviously leaking. We have a dry spot here, okay? And then it gets wet right there. See the oil drops there. Okay, we can check that and tightness on that. We'll check that stuff for tightness. Cle Kevin here is adjusting your clutch. You had a lot of free play. See how the, see how dirty the case is here? And see how clean it is there? That's where oil is coming through. Oil cleanses as it washes. So the base gasket for number six is leaking a little bit. Um, nothing to be alarmed about, but it is leaking just so that you know. Um, both chain housings are leaking from the O-rings where the cams go in, right there coming down, dripping onto the exhaust here. Same thing with this one. You can see the clean spotted trail coming down, dripping off. So both chain housing would have to come off. To fix these oil leaks, I would recommend pulling the engine and resealing the engine. Um, a lot of times that's not in the budget, it's easier to put oil in them. I understand that. Uh, Everything else looks pretty decent. Transmission's pretty dry. It is very common for these plates to leak. Um, they usually don't leak enough to leave a drop, just enough to cause wetness on the transmission. Uh, like I said, Kevin's in the process of adjusting the clutch here. We got the feeler gauges out. That's how you adjust the clutch on these. Um, hope it helps. If you need to talk to me, give me a call. 205-251-9263.